All right, so let's close this out. Now we're going to do the fun part. So what if you have the same building just in three different locations? Now, there's a lot of people who've done videos that I've seen where they do this or they do part of what I've showed you, but nobody ever combined it together. So I'm trying to get this out here so people will do more videos like this and, and get the gain in understanding. Because this is a really, to me, it's a complex part of the program that it's hard to figure out on your own. It's nice for people to, to make these videos. So, okay, so I'm back into the... Um, into the site model. Before I reload um, Architectural A, I'm going to go ahead and move um, this B location back over to A. So I'm going to align from here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that there. Let's just um, rename it and call it, uh, tell it it's at the B location, right? So here, you can give it a name. It's nice. By default, it's going to give it whatever you bring it in is going to tell you it's the first one you brought in or the second one you brought in or something like that. Here I'm going to call this structural and we're going to call it B, right? Now that's just a name. That's just given this XREF basically, if you're using AutoCAD terms, this uh, Revit link a name, right? But here we want to tell internal to have a name as well. So it's nice to change these if you have more than one specifically to change these from internal we're going to actually call this um, building B, right? So we're going to say uh, this one's actually structural uh, site location B, right? I'm going to copy that for later. All right, so this is a structural site location B, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to put two more site locations inside of that file yeah. so it knows where, where it is. Morning. Morning. So what you want to do here is we're going to reload A as well. So manage links. Let's reload the architect's file. Boy, is this a pain to, to figure this stuff out. I mean, thankfully I had a few videos I could watch, but there's not much out there on information that I find, and that's why I really wanted to bring this because... Took me a while to, to really wrap my head around a lot of this. So I'm glad to be able to share it, really. All right, so we've loaded A again. Now we're going to look at A, and again, it says internal. Now you would think it would say what I renamed B to, but these are two different files, so they both have their own internal locations. So uh, we're going to call this arc A. That's the one we're looking at, and we're going to call its internal. We're going to change it to be um, architectural site A. All right, so now we can just copy two more of these guys because we want a B and a C. And we're going to align and lock uh, B for the architect's model to B. And now I have to select it. That's the st uh, structural. All right. Now, that's actually the structural. Sorry. Let's hide that one for a second. All right. So now we have arc B. Now, because the last one I renamed it, it knew to kind of go in uh, order. So if you do this in the right order, it'll actually name this part for you, right? So here I'm going to tell it it's not an A. I'm going to reconcile it and say, okay, now I'm going to reduplicate a new one. And we're going to call this uh, architectural site B. So then we're going to align and lock this one. Before I do that, let's see. Yeah, I see it's arch C already. You can align it here. Here. Now we have a C location. 
We're going to duplicate again, and we're going to call this one Architectural Site C. All right, so we have an A, B, and C. Now I can go through here and do this again. Oh, something's funny. Oh, yeah, arc, arc, arc. Because I only have one structural model, so that's why we have one root. Uh, let's just go ahead and do the, the structural uh, to, to get this set up, you know, exactly right. Um, I'm going to hide that for a second so I can see the structural model. So if you know you had a lot of models to, to link together, you'd have to do these, you know, a lot. <laughs> so this is where the funny thing is. So the next two I copy, you think it would say structural because I copied from a structural. That name is just in the order you did it. So this one's arc D. It's actually structural. We're gonna call this one A. So we already have a structural B. So then I'm gonna go shared. Oh, I can't do shared yet. But now I need to move it to where A is. So what does that mean? Uh, I'm going to show you two things here. First thing I want to do is save the site. Now that's going to take all those positions and it's going to save them back into their models. Um, so I'm going to get two saves, one for the architect's model uh, and one for the structure model. So I should if I'm correct, I should get another one that's going to ask me to set the positions back into the second model. Um, and then, it, of course, it just saves it itself into the into itself, which is the site model. <clears throat> so it's taking a while because it's saving all those locations. So it just saved basically three locations in one file. Now it's going to save three locations in another file. All right. So if we look at this. Ignore that blue line, you know, it doesn't really make sense anymore where I have these. The only one that would make sense is the one I hid in this view. John Hyde. All right, let's just reset that. Okay, so let's say we took these guys right here out. Right? And I'll take out C as well. Okay, so now what I want to do is... I can tell when I bring a model in is where to bring it in. So if I go insert, I'm going to go link Revit. I'm going to bring in another copy of the architectural model. Oh, and we're going to go origin or uh, by shared coordinates, right? Now it's going to say, well, there's three shared coordinates to choose from. Where do you want to go? So I either want to go to B or C because those are the two locations that I haven't filled in yet. So it tells you there's another instance that's already linked in here, which is fine. It's going to create a second one. You go, yeah. All right, so now it says, okay, what location do you want, A, B, or C? So I'm going to go B. So now i got building coming in the right location, B. So I can do that again for the other one. I'm just going to do one more uh, link rabbit, and then we're going to go to um, architect... Uh, yeah, we'll go to the architect's model again. Uh, don't forget to go to buy shared coordinates. I mean, it would come in center to center, and you just have to, okay, delete and do it again, you know, if that was the case. It's not really a deal breaker, but it's right. It's nice to come in in the right location the first time. All right, so this time A and B is already used, so let's go ahead and bring it into C. So I could go again, do this to structural, but I'm not going to because I think you got the idea, right? Okay, so here's the, the other part you need to know, the last part to, to this, um, what's going on. So I'm going to change this stuff in the site model. I'm going to close the site model. And now you know how it comes in when you do it in the site model. You pick the locations you want. But what if you are in, say, the structural model? What is really going on when you do that? And how do you do that inside the structural model? Uh, or the architect's model for that matter. All right, so again, it comes to this view. We're gonna go to level one. All right, so now here is, in the structure model, we, we went to the B location, right? Delete that line. Okay, so this is the B location. 
what we want to do is we want to, if you click the share and you click the little blue icon that says it's shared, you can see it's site B. This is the site location B. So all we have now, now we actually have three sites. You can choose from A, B, or C. So where is site A at? You can click OK. Uh, well, I didn't hit, I didn't do it right. Click A and then you say make current. Okay, so now it says it's A is going to be current. So then the survey point is going to move to the survey point at location A, at building A. Right, so there it is. It's over here now. So then again, you could go to like C. And we're going to make current. Okay. So all it's doing is moving that survey point relative to its project. Um, showing you where it would be. Now, how does that make sense? Is if you insert now link Revit, we're going to insert the site model. And we're going to insert it by shared coordinates. See how confusing it gets when you got all those backups? So I should delete those by shared coordinates. And now it's going to come in. Now it knows it's coming in at site location C. All right, so it says the following nested links will not appear. It's just saying the other models that are in there are not going to appear because you don't have them. Uh, they're just nested, right? So, all right, so you can see site C came up. And if we look at the 3D view, it's sitting in site C. So what if we go here and we click this guy? There it goes. So instead of site C, we're going to look at site location A. We're going to make it current. OK. Notice it jumped from C to A. Right? And so that's pretty much the gist of it. It's, it's a very complex process uh, in the beginning. But once you wrap your head around it, it's not that bad. Um, but it's just because there's not much help out there on, um, on this stuff. So I hope this has helped. Uh, I know it helped me a lot to finally get it and get it recorded so I can go back and watch it, you know, because I'm sure there's things I'm going to forget. But if there's anything wrong, you know, someone can point it out to me, that's fine. But for me, I think this is, a, this is definitely the right way to do it um, and the right understanding. So, thanks.